It's been said in the press that I was invited to speak to the transgender employees at Netflix, and I refuse. That is not true. If they had invited me, I would have accepted it, although I am confused about what we are speaking about. I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said. My God, how could I not? You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. Well, it seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore. I want everyone in this audience to know that it, even though the media frames us that it's me versus that community, that is not what it is. Do not blame the LBGTQ community for any of this shit. This has nothing to do with them. It's about corporate interests and what I can say and what I cannot say. For the record, and I need you to know this. Everyone I know from that community has been nothing but loving and supporting. So I don't know what all this nonsense is about. Man, you ignorant, man. What else? Real we quick, we go. really never really talked about Dave. I was just about to say, real right, quick let's talk about go. Dave for real. Dave Chappelle. I keep interrupting, man. Go. But no, ultimately, man, y'all missed the point and y'all missed something special. Y'all missed. Y'all think Dave is a homophobe who hates transgender people and all of that type of stuff. And y'all missed him telling you his life and explaining why you're so far in incorrect. If you think Boosie is a homophobe that hates homosexuals, you can't I'm completely think Dave. fine with it. <laughs> I'm completely fine with it. Mm. If you think Dave is, you're wrong. You're wrong. And again, hit that special is him explaining why you're wrong. Like he had that relationship with the transgender, uh, what's her name? Daphne. Daphne. Love her. He, ain't, he wasn't even telling everybody about it. He wasn't yeah. saying, oh, look, see, this is my gay friend. This is my trans friend. So it's like that was a personal relationship that he kept personal. Right. And what I loved about it, too, is that motherfucker was even at the end when he told the joke, they was like, uh, he's like, yeah, Daphne would have loved that joke. Right. And it's like, I know this motherfucker more than y'all and y'all telling me yeah. who I am. Yeah. Like, y'all don't know who I am and y'all think y'all know who I am. But like he said, y'all are getting that for motherfuckers who read little clips. Y'all don't know me. Y'all haven't watched this shit. And, and lastly, if you don't like Dave, why are you watching his shit? Number Fact. one. And number two, if you watched it and you didn't like it, why you want to remove it from the motherfuckers who do like it? Or who right. do find something from it? Yes, I so, agree. And fuck everybody and what y'all got to gain because you didn't like it? And if nothing else, if he's wrong, he's trying. Trying got a matter. If you told me you mm. racist as fuck, but you try, it's like, oh, you fucking nigger. Mm. Wait, nope, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to, hi, nigger. Wait, <laughs> damn it. Uh, hello, black man. Would you like for me to buy you a McChicken? <laughs> Oh, yesterday real. I was at the store I saw this watermelon slushie <laughs> I was like damn who would I know that, that might enjoy that I'm sorry Trevor. if you're trying can't we be mad we shouldn't be mad you're that, trying. but again he showed you he's trying because everybody said he had this transgender hate and he went ahead and made a transgender friend right. helped the transgender person's career yes. and y'all hating on the yes. transgender helped her to kill herself yes and they look at it like no Dave's why she killed no, no y'all why she killed why she was. Hit her supporting Dave y'all killed Drug her for her. that Drug essentially her, they killed her man y'all gotta take that body yes not Dave not Dave and then stop saying, oh, man, we should cancel him. Oh, y'all, anybody who listens to Dave is a Dave transforming the fuck, man. Yeah, he is. Because he show you, nigga, I'll walk away from 50, 60 million, yep. And nigga. this is my last Netflix stand-up. Do what you want with that motherfucker. Mm. My job was to give Netflix their last stand-up. Mm. Whether they show it, <laughs> whether they ban it, I'm getting paid regardless. Mm -hmm. You know what I don't like? He trying, man. You know I, don't what I don't like, don't like that like. shit, bro. Dave Chappelle you, is a hero. You man. know me saying this all the time, man. I don't like that this negativity is what have to be used to sell, almost. Yeah. Dave didn't cause this, but this no. negativity is fueling. he didn't have fueling. a trans bashing comedic special. He talked about it at the end, really. And I don't, I, it's not, I guess it's not for me, yeah. but I don't see whether the, the, 
the negative was. I don't see yeah. what the harmful and jokes you, or the hurt. I didn't see it. And you know it. that I am all for the yeah. LGBT community. Like, even on some shit, like, I've said this a million times. If I seen a guy in the world that I wanted to fuck, I would fuck him. <laughs> if I seen a trans woman that I wanted to fuck, I would fuck him. Till this day, I've never fucked a guy <laughs> or a trans woman. But if I want to, God damn it, I'm going to do it. But I'm not going to rule it out. And I'm not going to give a fuck, <laughs> man. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? It just hasn't happened because I like big titty bitches. And I cannot lie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but, but you know we're drifting, man. All I, all go I Dave. want is <laughs> uh, go, Dave is right, yo. Yeah, man. Shout out, Dave. I salute you, Dave. Again, the things that we have to say are like they're not even worth a saying, but I just because feel like they're we gotta so say. obvious. It's not it, it, exactly. It's a shame <laughs> that they're not so exactly. obvious. Oh man, I, I want to say this for sure though. If everybody is the same in the world and we can't grow. There's nothing to learn from everyone else because we already do it. Like he just said, he tell his daughter, find somebody who's special because you're special. If we all just keep doing the same regular old shit, having the same regular conversations in the same regular confines, we're never going to understand shit. What if, which I believe it is, this Dave doing this on this uh, stand-up and this conversation being started helps fuel a better understanding between everyone and the transgender community. To me, that end result could only end in positive. So yes. how mad could you be at the catalyst if the end goal is all positivity or a better understanding? But we, our goal is not to be positive. A, a our better goal understanding. Is to point Fuck positive. Finger, man. The goal should be a better understanding. I agree, bro. You want people to understand something they can't understand, so you kind of got to do the best you can to present it yes, and then bro. be able to, you know, help us yes, in the pluses bro. that we're fault at. Yes, bro. I support all you motherfuckers. Do whatever the fuck you want to do that's positive, that doesn't hurt anybody, or doesn't come at the behest of anybody else. Don't step on another motherfucker neck for you to elevate. But if you can elevate, ella fucking vate, and I will help you. It's the best Bruh, I can. I have said so many times, the thought of two men having sex disgusts me. And Dave said it on sex. Ew. It really does. But I understand that that's just an opinion of mine. We said this on a couple of raw hypes ago. I said Avocado disgusts me. Straight up. But there's a market yeah, for it. Yeah, knock yourself Do out, your bro. Because at the end of the day, I've never seen you have sex with your woman. <laughs> I'm never going to see whatever dude have sex with his man. So I don't even have to see. Our, my relationship with you depends on my relationship with you when I see you. Mm. So if I got a gay homeboy, his relationship is going to be me. Uh, mm -hmm. What I deal with him, with him, I'm not finna sit there and say, oh, that's you and that's your boyfriend. And then start picturing y'all fucking. I don't picture you and your old lady fucking with y'all. Hey, this is me. This is my old lady. I'm just sitting there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I oh, pay. He, he I pay for legs. that. <laughs> he lifts her legs. Huh? <laughs> like for real, I don't do that. I thought his I don't, belly would get in the way. I, I don't imagine. <laughs> right, I don't imagine people <laughs> fucking when I meet them. So I don't have to. So it's like, hey man, I wish y'all the best. And I show y'all so much that I wish y'all the best that I help in any way I can. I never held oh, anyone bro. down. I don't plan nah, to. Bro, so. Bro. You can't call a motherfucker a transphobe because he laughs at Dave Chappelle jokes no, and, other and jokes naturally. And yes, I always said this bro. before, and I think somebody probably said this, but I've always said this. Uh, being able to be made fun of is the true level of uh, acceptance. I even told my daughter that. I said, I got to the point in my life where if somebody makes fun of me, I can see the humor in it. Absolutely. Not on some shit where it kills my self-esteem. Nope. Nigga, you can't you touch can't my motherfucking self-esteem. Man, come on, You man. can't touch but it. But we have to understand that in this world, there's people who don't have that eye clad type of yeah, fucking shit. Yeah, so we're trying to show you how to build it. You kind of, you build it by not fucking succumbing to everything that makes you upset or no uneasy. Doubt, That's a part of life. Yeah. People like when he's talking about talking about this turf or whatever, mm -hmm. he says it's a group of women that hate these trans women because they're impersonating him, them. That makes perfect, makes perfect sense, sense to me. Sense. I've always said, like my, he said, it's like blackface. If I was to ever have a gripe towards uh, the transgender community, my only gripe would be that part. The part of, like, I feel like being a woman is more important than just wearing a dress, lipstick, and some tits. Yes. So I when agree. anybody can just present themselves as a woman because they feel they're dressed and look like a woman, that, ha that would be my only gripe. But my point, let's say I'm a man. Let me finish before they kill Okay, go. I want to clarify. Go. Because to me, a woman is more than that, man. Yes. Everybody alive, a woman has something to do with it. Yes. So when you can just say, like nah, man, I'm a woman too. They go, uh, wow, I like dicks. Yes. Uh, that doesn't make you a no. woman. Well, you know, no. uh, I got tits now. But uh, Dave said, oh, but he's, sorry, but he made a joke about uh, the. I am not saying that to say 
that trans women aren't women. I am just saying that those pussies that they got, you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's not pussy, but that's like beyond pussy or impossible pussy. You know what I mean? It tastes like pussy, but that's not quite what it is, is it? It's not blood, that's beet juice. Impossible pussy or beyond pussy. That was <laughs> funny, bro. Funny? But all right, let's you, say, sorry, go ahead. All right, let's say I'm a straight man, uh -huh. all right? And I say, hey, if you identify as a woman, I'll fuck you, mm -hmm. right? And you say, okay. But then if someone's a woman and they say, I don't give a fuck what you say, that ain't no woman. I can't say they're wrong. <laughs> I'm over here as a man. I say, hey, if you identify as a woman, I treat you as a woman, I'm down the foot. Uh. Can you blame me for that? <laughs> but then it's like, but, but by the same token, if a woman say, no, that ain't no motherfucking woman, can I blame her yeah. for that? If I'm willing to say I'm down with y'all no matter what, and mm. hype personally is not, but I won't get into that. But if I say, hey, I accept whoever says they're a woman is a woman. Uh -huh. I accept that. That don't mean that I can't comprehend how a woman will say, that ain't no motherfucking woman. They got the right. You have the right. That's right. what I meant, is that I have the right. It's the same thing about like being black and like saying like, like the say, word nigga. Yep. I have the right to tell you that you can't use the yep. word nigga. So a woman has the right to yep. say, nah, you ain't no motherfucking woman. Just like the trans community has the right to say, this oppresses me, this no upsets me. No doubt. And Everyone for me, has as a right. straight man, I can respect you as a woman, but to say, hey, I still wouldn't have sex with you. And you, so, the I have that right. The problem with that, that's the problem with people and rights. Yeah, they, they like only I don't think, have that right. Exactly. They motherfucking think I'm sorry. only them have rights yes. in this particular situation. I'm sorry. What if about you have my penis, rights? I'm not interested in having sex with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. But I'm not sorry. Exactly. But I'm not sorry. You did? Exactly. I'm sorry. That's my. I don't want you to get hurt because of it. Exactly. Like I said, but I don't want you to put them balls on no, me. No, I don't. Like I said, and I don't have sex with a midget, <laughs> but a, there's a lot of midgets with pussies. But then when you get told. If you wouldn't have sex with a trans person, you're transphobic. You, I'm sorry, like I don't that, agree with that. What do you do? I don't agree. And with that. sadly, community, this is where your issue. This is where you're having issues yes. communicating with other people yes. because when you tell them, yes. they no longer have the decision of choice because if they had the decision of choice, they wouldn't choose you. Right. You don't know right. that. Like, Let you, a motherfucker if I, choose. If I had a straight homeboy that was dating a transgender woman and he swore to God to me that he was still straight, I would respect that. I would say, hey, I respect that. I don't got no problems with that. And it's because... I don't care who your woman is. I don't care if your woman's a man. Yeah. I don't care if your woman's a transgender because it don't have nothing to do with me. Like if you and your old lady are getting along, it don't have shit to do with the raw hype. If you and your old lady are not getting wrong, it don't have shit. We're recording. We're hitting the button yeah. and we're recording. If your old lady happens to have a penis, we're hitting the button and we're recording. Because no matter what, I don't want to have sex with you. Mm. So whoever you choose to have sex with, yeah. I don't have no say so over that because I don't want to have sex with you. So mm -hmm. I say, Rebel, you shouldn't be fucking a transgender. Oh, okay, I feel what you're saying, hype. Well, do you want to fuck me? No. Well, <laughs> how do you have a say so over who want to fuck me? If I listen to you and you don't want to fuck me, I ain't going to be fucking be nobody. Fucked. <laughs> I'll be fucked. I don't be fucked. <laughs> so you feel me? I can't tell people who I'm not about to have sex with who to have sex with. Again, man, shout out to everybody. Play yeah, us a man, beat, man. Let's get the body. Dave Shapiro type beat, man. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Uh-uh. Yeah. Riding around listening to Dave Chappelle. Uh-huh. Listening to that nigga oh might as well. Uh-huh. Last special it was called a closure. Uh-huh. Sadly the transgender got exposure. <laughs> uh -huh. They say that they don't want to see it. He hate girls with penis. Uh -huh. Who wouldn't believe it? Can't believe it. A senior. You uh -huh. should go ahead on Regis and try to become a millionaire. Uh -huh. Cause that nigga know that that old flow belongs to chameleon. Uh -huh. Yeah, but we ain't talking about that. We talking about this. Uh -huh. How they trying to can so they for some shit Cause he don't wanna sit with you and uh -huh. your chick with a dick uh -huh. He don't want you to flick on this motherfucking tit So get a grip, we in this world, we need to live We gotta be positive, cause that's all we got uh, to give I live a good life, uh. some niggas say I'm living bossly Boss. But same time I be killing them softly Soft. I ain't talking Lauren Hill, I'm talking Dave talking C Dave The reason C. why I did them Netflix, cause they paid me they, pay me. they can't cancel me, no. nah, not a G no. Cause I be talking about that LGBT 
And that Q, I'm like, what it do? I'm hollering at you. Yeah. And if you got a dick, well, I guess you can get it too. <laughs> but if I disagree, they all gonna attack me. Thank I'm me. like, damn, is you mad that I like pussy? And I be diving in it, yeah, you know I'm riding in I'm it. Riding. And I'm gonna have to holler at Ho for five minutes. Five. And if I find out that you got a member, I'm gonna say, damn, little baby, is you transgender? Gender. And if you tell me, yeah, I'm gonna have to make a decision. And then I look at pussy, notice it had an incision. I'm like, damn, little baby, is that used to be dick? Ah. She say, don't worry about it, boy, I can make you nut quick. Ah. I'm like, man, hold up, I'm kind of scared. She said, well, let's ease into it, I give you some head. <laughs> <laughs> Going on, I thought that I just went and did something wrong. Cause that motherfucker had on a backwards thong. <laughs> I mean, the dick was on the left, she had some balls on the right, but they matched the tits on the left, she had two big holes on the right. Uh -huh. I said, What I'm seeing, I'm drinking water to fix my sight. I say, Are oh, you a woman, ma'am? I'm trying to be polite. Cause I do not know what I'm looking at, or you be looking bad. When she grabbed the dick, I said, Oh, that feels a little too hard with your grip with that. It look like you be throwing balls when you get it back. So, so please get up off my balls, can hey, I get them back? You uh. ever notice there were titties? Yep, she got them. And you she ever met a bitch that's a top and, and a bottom? bottom? I'm like, hold up, little hold baby. Up. I'm kind of confused. And then I thought get more confused when she got nude. No. I'm like, is you a woman uh. or is you a dude? <laughs>